signed a new one year contract. How easy a decision was that to make? <clears throat> but yeah, I, it was an easy decision. Yeah, you know, it's, I could have gone elsewhere. You know, I had calls, um, but it never entered my mind. To be honest, it's it's not about the money. As, as I've said before, when I first come here, it's, I want to play for Tranmere. It's, now there's um, there's there's a big aim for for everyone now for for us to go back up and it's something I want to be involved in. What do you know of Rob already, and, and what have you learned from him over the last three weeks? I've played against him, you know, a few times. Um, I think he's going to be right for us. I think he's you know he's he's a young manager. It's his first job, you know, great job, you know, um, great chance for him. It's up to us us now to you know do the business for him. But he wants to play the right way, as I, as I keep saying. He, which is good, it's refreshing. You know, there is a style he wants to play and he wants to stick to, which I think we need. You know, I don't I don't think we've had that here over the last few years, you know, and <clears throat> an identity, you know, he wants to bring that to Tranmere and I feel I do that. And for yourself, I mean, last year you were you said you were chasing it a little bit. I mean what goals will you be setting yourself this season? <clears throat> I'll be a lot better this season, you know, I can guarantee that. Um as I say, last year it was tough. The first six months was tough, you know, um, being out the game so long, I don't think you realise how much, how tough it is getting back into it. Which, I, which I'll be honest, I found tough, you know, fitness-wise. Towards the end of the season, I was just getting to swings, and obviously I got my injury, which set me back. It, you know, I've done my head in really, but um, I feel strong now, and I think, especially with a pre-season behind me, I think we'll be. I'd be a lot better. And do you think there's a feel around the place at the moment that you know all the distractions last season? There seems to be a real separation from all that. And there's a Definitely. real feel of optimism. Do you know, I've, I've noticed that the last couple of days. You know, I've noticed that speaking to people around the club. You know, the only thing we can really take from relegation is we were starting again. You know, it's a clean slate. I think maybe in a year or two it might be a blessing. I really do. I do feel that. I think we've got a manager now who, who is refreshing. You know, having. My first chat with him there this morning, straight away I can tell, I can tell um, he wants to play the right way, he wants to get the right players in. And I think that there'll be an identity, I think, at Tramier. I think we'll see that over the season, a way that we want to play and a way we're going to stick to playing, which I think we haven't had. I think it'll, uh, it'll benefit everyone. And are you relishing the extra responsibility that you're going to have next season? Yeah, definitely. As I say, the coaching, the coaching role I've been offered is... It's great, you know. It's something I want to get involved in, um, helping young players, which I've done a little bit towards the end of last season. You know, um, with John McMahon, you know, uh, who, who again I think's important. We keep, you know, I'm glad. I'm glad to see he's staying because uh, he done a great job. You know, people don't realise what he actually done, what he had to deal with during last season. You know, he done everything, and I'm glad he's staying because he's a great coach. But. Um, on my side, yeah, it'd be great to help the young lads and uh, have an input. As I say, I've got a lot of experience. Uh, I, I look to use that next season.